And now on to our dinosaur of the day, Falka Takeley or Falka Takeley. And I'll admit we are taking some liberties here with this dinosaur of the day because, you know, it's not necessarily in prehistoric planet two, but it's not necessarily not in prehistoric planet two. I guess we know from the press notes now that it wasn't, but <laughs> <laughs> there's one quick shot of a flock of birds in episode three in the swamp episode, and you can't see too many details, but the tail of those birds look kind of similar to Falka Takeley. It's a very distant shot of a flock of birds. They don't mention what any of the birds are, though. That's so, true. So it could be. Leave it to the imagination. There aren't that many birds from this formation, so it's one of only a few options. Yeah, it's an, an anti-ornithine. It lived around the same time and place as the animals featured in the episode, so why not? <laughs> and this is really cool. Yeah, as I said, it's lived in the late Cretaceous and what is now northern Madagascar in the May Verano Formation. It was about crow-sized. It had a deep, long beak, about three and a half inches or nine centimeters long. Okay, so it's not quite as toucan-like as I had imagined from the paleo art. <laughs> it did look similar to a toucan's. But not quite as big, I guess. Yeah. As an an anti-ornithine, in many ways, it would have looked like a modern bird because it had a high, long face like a modern bird, but it had teeth in the pre-maxilla. <laughs> That's a big difference between modern birds having teeth. Yes. <laughs> Falka Takeley was described by Patrick O'Connor and others in 2020, so it's a relatively recent one. They found a nearly complete, well-preserved skull back in 2010, and they CT scanned the skull in 2017. The skull is small. It's about three inches or eight centimeters long. So the beak is like longer than the skull. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a big beak. And parts of the fossil are paper thin, like the maxilla is less than one millimeter thick. Oh boy. I'm glad they had a CT scanner so they didn't have to try to prep all that out. Yeah. Falka Takeley had a narrow preorbital region that's in front of the eye socket. The type and only species is Falka Takeley forsteri. The genus name means small scythe, and it refers to the shape of the beak. <laughs> Scythe beak. Yeah. Small scythe beak. <laughs> and the species name is in honor of Catherine Forrester's, quote, contributions to work on Madagascan paravians. So it was unexpected for the paleontologist that Falka Takeley looked superficially like a toucan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is a toucan doing here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In Madagascar 68 million years ago. <laughs> <laughs> What's an example of convergent evolution because it evolved this toucan like beak tens of millions of years before toucans and other modern birds. And it's also pretty distantly related. Yeah, to it's a an anti ornithine, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they found a complex series of grooves on the bone, and that's what showed that it had a large beak. And this beak shape is like a modern bird with a high, long upper bill. However, its face had similar bones as Velociraptor and other non-avian dinosaurs. And like non-avian dinosaurs, it had a bone under its beak and a large upper jawbone. So a large maxilla and small premaxilla. This is unlike modern birds where there's just one bone under the beak, the premaxilla. Falka Takeley probably used its beak for a lot of purposes, including moving objects and grooming and feeding. And, of course, it lived in a swampy floodplain that had wet and dry seasons. And it's a little cutie. Mm-hmm. Except for the teeth. Make it a little less cute. Yeah, watch out for the teeth. <laughs> for those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash or click the link on the left.